A very good morning to all the doctors, all the learners of homeopathy who have joined us today for this webinar. I am Dr. Neha from Vijayan Group of Companies from the team Radar Opus and I welcome you all to this webinar of ours. So we have uh, various doctors joining us globally. Hello Dr. Muhammad Akhtar from Pakistan. So our topic for today's discussion is how to use Radar Opus in daily practice. So I'll be giving you my insights on how to use Radar Opus in daily practice, A to Z of using Radar Opus in your practice from reporterization to patient, uh, patient management system. So, you know, whenever we talk about Radar Opus, whenever we uh, give demonstrations on Radar Opus, we are, uh, we go in a pattern, I tell you all the features of Radar Opus software. But today we will not be doing the typical, we'll, we will not be talking about typical features of Radar Opus. Today I will talk about when a patient approaches you, how to use Radar Opus then. So, uh, before before going into the topic, before starting the webinar, I would like to give a brief introduction about myself. I'm Dr. Neha from Beijing Group of Companies from the team Radar Opus. And um, I have done my MD in Homeopathic Materia Medica and I am MA in Psychology as well. So I'm very thankful to Beijing Group of Companies for giving me this opportunity that I'm here today in front of you all giving you this webinar. So I hope you all can see my Radar Opus software. So whenever a patient comes to you, the first thing that patient talks about is his or her complaint. When uh, Dr. Saab, I am facing this complaint or that complaint. So the first thing that every doctor does and every doctor should do is fill up all the you know preliminary data of your patient, including name, age, sex, occupation, all these things till may indicate to you a lot of things like uh, there are some pathologies that you get in specific age or there are some pathology that you get in specific gender there are some pathologies that are related to a person's occupation or the area they are residing in so like there are few uh, areas which are tuberculosis prone so you might get an idea of that so whenever a patient comes to you you can start with winter patient management this is the third icon you can go to create a new patient. This type of pop-up window would open in front of you. You'll get two options to choose from, either a human case or veterinary case. So I'm going with a human case. If I click on administrative, this type of window would open. So if a patient comes to me, he would tell me that uh, I'm having this complaint or that complaint. The first thing you do is you ask what is your name, what is your age, and what is your uh, location and complaints. So you can write name over here. Suppose I'm uh, writing Rahul. Last name is Singh. So once you get hold of the software, you can quickly type. Uh, rest of them I am leaving. Say I'm, I'm just putting address to Shahadra, Delhi. And I'm saving this. So I've saved this and this patient would be saved in this Winship patient management list. So you can see, just a second. So if you search, uh, either you can scroll down to this list, uh, like if you have a lot of patients, you can simply go to the search bar and type name of your patient and that patient name would automatically appear on this side of the screen. So rest of them, you can fill it out or you can leave it. If you have a file number or file location, uh, such as I give a number to each of a serial number to each of uh, my patients. So what I do is I use an alphabet and I use a number. So suppose if a patient name start with uh, R in such in uh, such as in this case, so I'll write file number r dash the number of patients so suppose in the serial number r i have seen 20 patients so this patient would be 21 r 21 this would be the file number of my patient so it is very easy for me to locate such patients so now moving on this is about preliminary data once you get hold of it it becomes very quick then um 
suppose uh, if you want to, whenever you take a case of patient, there is a, always in our case taking performer, there's a segment for personal history. So you uh, can get a family environment, fa a number of marital status of the patient, number of children, uh, partner, what is the occupation of the partner, personal information. Personal information also gives you input about a lot of things like living condition. Uh, so I'll write damp conditions. Uh, say blood surgery history, I would uh, write co say gallbladder, missing organ, gallbladder, blood group. You can select blood group from hair, hair as well. So whatever you want to add in patient history, you can do that. So I do a thorough case checking. There are many doctors who uh, go for quick prescription if they have a very busy OPDs. So you can skip all these part. But if you want to do a, th a thorough case checking, you can have a format of a pharma like this, uh, which has already been given and you can type all these things. So if a patient have been taken previous homeopathic treatment for what condition he have taken it, uh, the homeopathic reason treated by, uh, so you can add all these details. So you can add, uh, after that you can have an emergency contact detail as well. You, uh, if you see on this corner, there's a private window. If there is some drug addiction, which is very common these days, you can select it and you can write, say I would write marijuana. Marijuana drug addiction is there and uh, something else I would cook in, say I'm typing that, I'm saving it and this private window would have drug addiction in it. So you can add all these details in the administrative section. So this section also have options for, uh, you know, induced abortion, I'm unselecting it sexual harassment, HIV, you can add inputs about that. Suppose if a patient doesn't have HIV, it has some, L, or some else STD, you can go to HIV and write, uh, it, instead of it, you can write name of the other sexually transmitted disease that a person might have. I'm saving this. So this person private information of the patient will be saved. Now I'm coming on to consultation sheet. So this is the consultation sheet. Suppose my patient presents to me with certain symptoms. Um, I'm taking two, three symptoms. Suppose uh, the first symptom of patient is sleeplessness. Sleeplessness since uh, I can say five months. Aggravated uh, overthinking. Uh, this was my first symptom. So I'm writing first or say complaint of. I hope you are getting this. If anyone have any problem, you can uh, write it in the chat box and ask your queries. Second complaint my patient is having, say, trembling of a uh, lower body. Trembling of lower extremities. since seven months. Uh, this is say aggravated at night. Third symptom that I want to type is uh, weakness, generalized weakness. I'm explaining the symptom patient doesn't feel like doing anything. Due to weakness, patient comes to me with a feeling of generalized weakness. Patient feels as if he is very weak and due to this, he doesn't feel like doing anything. So these are the three complaints that my patient comes with. So if uh, now this is my first, uh, you can say, uh, segment, which is of presenting complaint. Now I'm appending a row to go to next, uh, you can say, section. So uh, say history of presenting complaint so i'm going for the history log how does the complaint started so uh, i'm just writing patient pa uh, suppose patient had a lot of stress uh five or six months here back he had a, 
uh, like some he lost someone from his family after that patient started to have a complaint of sleepiness trembling of lower extremities and generalized weakness apart from it a patient is having addiction history so i'm writing that for now so patients chose relative months ago since then patient started with these complaints right so this is my uh, history of presenting complaint now if i want to add patient's family history either you can use this tag so i'm appending a new row and now i'll use this row as family history so either you can use the tag of family history so this is the tag of family history you can add family anamnesis in it or otherwise you can click on this icon this is a symptom template if you click on it you can select from family history suppose uh, in family history there is a sim uh, history of alcoholism if i move move on there is a symptom of diabetes like there is predominant diabetes in that if i move out, uh, there is say history of tuberculosis which is very prominent in 3 plus tuberculosis is there so i'm adding these symptom these symptom have been added from family history directly from this uh, symptom template a uh, template so these all three are of family history now moving on if you want to add past history of your patient you can either click over here or again you can go to sim symptom template uh, and you can choose past medical history from here in from this list as well suppose uh, childhood disease patient had whooping cough i have added that keywords i have added that so i have just added two things in family history fine if you want to go for physiological history you can go to physiological history template so, say i'm going for constipation uh let's say constipation due to rectum inactivity i'm and selecting this you can go through this list and choose whatever you want to go for so in physiological history you get all the normal body discharges uh and excretions in physiological history so you'll get Uh, all the body discharges such as and excretions such as uh, stools menses perspiration sleep all these patterns you will get in this uh, physiological history part fine appetite you can write so i am write uh, going to appetite diminished this is what i am going for you can you will get all these information like if they are related to infants child child if there is difficult dentition uh, re, uh symptoms related to coitus and female male uh, reproductive organs related to deliveries and all these things there are everything in physiological history so you can go for so now um i want to go for physical generals of the patient i have appended a new row and i'll write the heading physical generals uh, so appetite is i've already mentioned diminished you can write over here as well um appetite then thirst is normal then desire is for spices so i'm taking a dummy case right now so you can write down your case according to that if you have a preformed performer many people use uh, many people have their own performer that they prefer to have in their clinics so you can take a uh, copy that performer and you can paste it over here so your work will be you know made very much easier with that you can just fill out the empty spaces with uh, due to with that so stools i'm writing say consti pated urine no associated complaint thermal chilly 
so i have added i have taken these few symptoms of my patient so whenever a patient comes to you you generally ask uh, complaint uh, like presenting complaint of the patient in my case the patient presented with complaints of sleeplessness trembling generalized weakness uh, it all started when patient close relative died along with it patient have a history of uh, alcoholism and uh, sorry uh, of drug addiction uh, history of say drug addiction and alcoholism in family history you get alcoholism diabetes and tuberculosis which is very prominent so i'll write 3 plus in front of it in past history there was fever in physical general the appetite of the patient was reduced thirst was normal desire for spices stools were constipated and thermals were chilly i'm not taking all the physical generals so this was a uh, you know overall this was the case of my patient now i'll go to reportization so i have few vague symptoms uh, i didn't get much in mental symptoms of the patient uh, so i'll simply reportize these symptoms so for reportization i say i want to go for synthesis reportry so for doing that i'll simply go to reportries and in the search bar i'll type name of my reportry which is synthesis to click on synthesis synthesis reportry would open on this part of the screen so synthesis have opened so now you can see the my case have uh, is no more on the screen if you want to refer to your case this is your case which is right next to synthesis so this is known as all in one user interface which means you can work on various document at same time at same place you just need to shift between two tabs so now i am going to reportization so first symptom was lower extremities trembling so i am going to chapter extremities i am going to uh, trembling legs and uh, sub rubric was night i forgot to take that so for that what i'll do is i'll simply click on legs and all the rub uh, sorry sub rubrics of leg would open so ex trembling extremities trembling legs sub rubric they would open so now i'll type night there is just one remedy in it that is bufo so i'm avoiding taking a short rubric i'll take instead this rubric which is legs so i have opened this rubric now if you want to take this rubric into reportization you need to take this into your clipboard so for taking into clipboard i am just dragging and dropping it into my clipboard and the symptom have been added so now the next symptom that was there was sleeplessness due to overthinking so again i am going to navigation window i am going to chapter sleep for going to the chapters you can either select it from this list or you can type it in the search bar you don't need to click anywhere just straight away start typing if i single click on sleep all the rubrics of sleep would appear now i want to go for my rubric that is sleeplessness so i'll click on that i'll write over thinking is not there thinking amelioration is there excitement aggravation uh if you want to take that rubric you can take that it is completely up to you so i'll simply go to this rubric there no um there is one more rubric that you can go for mind excitement sleep preventing So, if you want to take this rubric, you can take that. If you want to take this rubric, you can double click on it, and this rubric would appear. So, it is again giving you back to that rubric. This rubric doesn't have any drug in it. So, going back to this. Now, suppose if I want to take this rubric, the second method of taking is you can click on plus button. So, this rubric have been added. Now, the third rubric that uh, that was there, it was you know weakness, generalized weakness of the whole body. So for that, I'll go to the chapter general or so generalities. I'll write my rubric that is weakness. Right. 
there are a lot of cross references also which are given over here debility lack of energy innervation exhaustion infirmity lymphatic constitution if you want to take any one of these you can take that if i go further down you'll get proper cross references chronic fatigue syndrome flabby feeling collapse heaviness lassitude mind dullness prostration of mind if you want to take any one of these rubrics you can always whenever you are taking any rubric just go to the list of cross references and uh, the suggested rubrics if uh, there are many times you'll get better rubrics that you were thinking of so if you are not seeing these cross references in your repository so for that you can go to this uh high like this tag icon if you click over here and go to select which tags to show and hide you'll get list of all different tags so if i scroll down so under the hyperlinks you will get a section of cross references you just need to click on it and these cross references would start appearing in your repository so suppose my um, patient have lassitude this is the symptom that i want to go for so i'll simply double click on it and this rubric would open so i'll take this rubric one more method is there for taking the rubric i'll simply click on this icon so i've taken this rubric lassitude now uh, there was history of tuberculosis and history of addiction in my patient so uh, so so there is uh, you know marijuana uh, addiction and there is cocaine addiction so i'll just simp now uh, like i'm not sure whether i where in this whole repository i'll get this rubric cocaine addiction or family history of tuberculosis so for that i'm using search engines so suppose i want to go for cocaine addiction so i'll simply write cocaine addiction and searching this rubric i'm going to all documents in natrimul there are rubrics of uh, there is no particular rubric for cocaine as such okay uh, cocaine addiction so i'll just simply search for addiction mind drugs addiction this is byng repository i'm going for synthesis general there is no rubric in uh, synthesis repository for now re regarding addiction so i'll you can go to other ref, uh, repositories as well to take this rubric so in synthesis repository there are many rubrics related to addiction you can take that in de groots repository byng repository as well there are rubrics for that so suppose i'm going for byng repository uh, there are this rubric so suppose i want to take this rubric but as it is a different repository i won't be adding the symptom into my first clipboard which is by default so a clipboard so i'll take that into my second clipboard just to refer if my any of the drug which is coming after repositorization is matching with this so you can take other rubrics in this clipboard as well so i'm taking this general rubric or uh, if you go to this bracket it would show you what all drugs are there related to that that particular rubric so in the rubric toxicity drug general addictions there are these remedies so you can go uh, for any of these rubric whatever you feel is appropriate for your case so i'm going for uh, this rubric toxicity drugs general stimulants addiction ailments from desire so there is desire for uh, stimulants and addictions so i'm going for this rubric suppose so again i'm taking this rubric into my second tab not in my default tab so i'll just have to quickly check what is the remedy which is coming up and i don't want to take this into main repositorization just to cross refer i am taking two different tabs now suppose this was about i have taken symptoms related to addiction now the symptom that i want to go for is uh, say family history of tuberculosis which was very prominent in my case 
So for that, I'm going to advanced search window. For that, you can go to this drop down and go to advanced search. Four different search bars have opened in front of you. So I'm going to first search bar and I'm typing my symptom that is family. History, tuberculosis. So while using advanced search, you need to pre uh, take two things in your mind. First is to use correct uh, heading for searching correct thing um, and to write one word in one search bar only. So in treasure edition synthesis, these are the rubrics related to family history of tuberculosis. So I want to take this rubric. So I've clicked on this rubric. You can see this finger pointing towards this rubric. That means this rubric have been selected. Now I'll simply press plus button and the symptom would be added into my default clipboard. So I have added the symptom. There were two, three more symptoms which were there in my patients. So if you want to see the, those rubric through search engines, you can take help of search engines. Else I'm simply clicking on synthesis repository. I'm typing my, going to my symptom that is constipation, which was there. Some, I've gone to the chapter uh, rectum. I'm typing my symptom constipation, inactivity. Uh, there is a similar rubric which is given, which is an activity of rectum. So I'm taking this rubric into my clipboard. This have been taken. Now I'll quick, I want to see quickly uh, refer to my case if I'm missing on any of the rubric. For that, I'll simply go to my case and I'll uh, have a look at it if I'm missing any symptoms. So uh, you can go for, if you want to take chili, you can go for a uh, rubric like, Gender, in generalities, cold aggravation. If you want to take that, you can take that. If you want to skip that, you can skip that. You won't get any sim, uh, any rubric uh, related to thermal reaction. You'll have to take general rubrics only. So I'll take aggravation from cold and desire for spices. So I'm not taking this. Uh, if you want to take the symptom, you can take that. So I usually take those symptoms which are in high intensity. So I'm skipping this for a while. So I'm going for um, cold aggravation. So for that, I'll simply go to generalities or generals. I'll type my symptom cold and aggravation. Open that. And I've added that by pressing plus button. So now if you... Uh, I've taken all the symptoms if you want to see the repository or analysis sheet you can click on analysis or you can click on clipboard so i've clicked on my clipboard this is the repository sheet which, which is coming up so these are the drugs which are coming up if you want to prescribe any of these drugs you can prescribe that so uh, phosphorus is coming suppose i want to quickly refer to phosphorus to see what are the symptoms of phosphorus for that you can double click on it and its keynotes would open so currently it have not opened from keynotes it have opened from fatak materia medica because i made it as default so by uh, otherwise it opens from radar keynotes so you'll get options of uh, radar keynotes allen's encyclopedia and uh, uh, fatak materia medica which i added so if you want to refer any book you can do that so you can see if there are any symptoms that you get in phosphorus if you quickly want to uh, refer that so there are symptoms of chorea which are uh, which is there fine um, i'm going to radar keynotes for that so it gives proper headings So uh, there are the symptoms. You can refer to any materia medica. If you want, if you're not satisfied with these three materia medicas, you can go to the site and search for this remedy in, and uh, you can go to all references. In all references, all the materia medicas would open. So boric is open right now. So you can see, read phosphorus from boric materia medica. So you can see symptoms of phosphorus from materia medica and so you know there are uh, different different symptoms you can go for it and you can refer to it if you are not satisfied with this drug if you think 
uh, this is not the appropriate drug which is fitting into your case, you can go for the other options as well. Else you can take help of, uh, of our modules and export system. Suppose, uh, I'm not sure if I should be giving this remedy or not. In that case, I'm using help of Vithulkas export system. So for using Vithulkas export system, I'm allotting intensity to each of my symptoms. So for intensity allotment, you can uh, see what is the intensity of the symptoms in your patient and uh, you can give that intensity to your case. So I'm just giving a random intensities right now. So this is the intensity I have provided. Now we'll simply go to this icon, change analysis strategy, and I'll go to with Vilkas expert system. So it would analyze my whole case and it would give me uh, remedies, which is which with Vilkas expert system thinks is most appropriate for my case. So according to VES, the remedy that I should be prescribing is coffee, followed by Califos and Tarantula. So uh, earlier in my normal reporterization or plain reporterization, phosphorus was coming up. After my VES reporterization, coffee is coming up. So it gives you three different columns over here. First of all, you'll get three columns, one of large remedies, one of medium, other is of small. So if you want to just palliate your case and if you want to go for some uh, small remedy, you can go for medium or small group of drugs as well. Else you can go for large remedies or polycrest remedies. So he's asking me to add modalities, proper mod uh, to add modalities to my symptom. So it gives you recommendation as well. So if you think uh, your uh, case doesn't, uh, is your case is incomplete, it asks you uh, to complete your case. Like in this case, it have asked me to add more modalities to my symptoms. So now the remedies that I'm getting are all these. So if I come to right hand side, you'll get three different columns. One with rubrics with coffee. So what with Hilkas expert system does is it matches the intensity of the patient to match, uh, to the intensity of uh, that is given in the repertory. Apart from it, it gives you suggestion. It uh, uh, gives you inputs as well that you should ask your patient symptoms about all these drugs. So uh, it is matching the intensity of the symptom to the patient. So here you can see the intensity of the symptom in repertory and here in patient. And there is one symptom which coffee is not covering. Uh, so that's why it was ruled out in uh, normal analysis because this symptom family history of uh, tuberculosis was covered in phosphorus so that's why it was showing phosphorus in this uh, particular segment but according to Vithulka system uh, we can avoid this symptom so that's why it have given you a recommendation of coffee now if you go through the third segment of your screen it is showing you the keynotes of coffee you can quickly refer to this drug right? so you can go this uh, go with this drug. So even I feel coffee is better suited to my patient as compared to phosphorus. So you can go for that particular symptom. Now I'll just quickly look for this tab. So this is my uh, sim uh, my second clipboard was of those rubrics which have the symptoms of toxicity or uh, sorry drug addiction. So you can go to the drug. You can see coffee is there in drug addiction as well so i would go for coffee instead of phosphorus so this is how you can select to your remedy as well so this is a webinar so i'm showing you in a very slow pace but when you are in your opd you can quickly reportize your case quickly note down your case and uh, if you want to go to ves you just need to click on uh, analysis and go to ves and it would show you the drug which is covered by VES. So one drug that I'm seeing in both in VES as well as in my clip, uh, in my second clipboard, which is passive, passive flora incarnata. So now I'll go for two remedies, passive flora mother tincture and coffee cruda uh, in dose form. You can skip this drug as well if you want to. But in, in the cases where I think immediate intervention is needed, if a patient is having very high intensity symptoms, I go for mother tinctures for a while. After that, uh, like 
for two three days then i uh, stop the mother tincture and then i go with my rest of the prescription now i'll go to my i'm confirmed with my remedy what remedy do i want to give so i'll simply go to my case which is rahul singh over here this is my case now i want to give him prescription so i'll just go to bottom of your screen of my screen and write name of the drug so i'm writing coffee fine i'm writing potency 200 centesimal potency posology three doses sorry three doses alternatives fine i want to add a new uh, new drug another drug i want to add so i'll simply write name of the medicine over here that is passi flora potency i'm typing q i'm going for mother tincture q 10 drops bd for 3 days i've gone for 10 drops twice a day for 3 days i'm adding my third remedy over here third remedy i'm going to add is saclac potency i'm going for is 30 Scale say centesimal BD for seven days. So this is the prescription. Now I'll save my prescription by clicking over here, and this prescription would be saved. You can go to pathology and write name of the pathology as well. Suppose I'm writing, uh, if you think neurosis, so I'm going for neurosis. uh the clinical condition is uh, anxiety neurosis so it is not in international code of disease so in icd 10 code is not given over here if i write anxiety neurosis uh, icd code would appear over here anxiety neurosis so it is again not there so i will simply write neurosis fine i've write uh, written my pathology as well so this is about my case i have sa uh, saved the case my case is already saved in this patient list now if i want to save these repertorization sheets so i'll go to save current analysis and it would ask you if you want to uh, save this analysis to an existing patient or to a new patient or you want to save analysis separately as a folder so i'm going to and saving analysis to an existing patient i'm writing name of my patient for easy search so i'm go right going for rahul singh and saving it so this case will be saved as uh the consultation with the consultation of my patient so this is all about how you can uh, type a case how can you can repertorize a case quickly refer to your materia medica how can you, you use expert system all in one go so this was all about how, when a, whenever a patient ap approaches you in your opd or clinic how can radar opus be helpful in that so with practice you can do everything within just 2 3 or maximum 5 minutes it won't take much of your time so this was all about today's topic if any one of our viewers have any uh, questions please feel free to ask uh dr prabha um this was a webinar so uh If you have any query or doubts, please you can write it in the comment box. I'll be uh, happy to answer. If you have any questions or queries, else you can take uh, um, 
our demo sessions. The whole software is explained in those demo sessions. Uh, Dr. Mohammed Akhtar, you want to understand patient management uh, once again. I'll quickly go through that. So for Vinche patient management, if you want to say um, add consultation to your patient's follow-up, you want to go to a patient's follow-up and then add a new uh, sheet, follow-up sheet. For that, you can choose the patient from this list. So I'm opening my case again. So I'm going for Rahul Singh only. Closing this case for now. Right. So it is asking me if I want to recall my previous analysis of this patient. So I'm going for yes. Yeah. So these analysis sheet would appear in front of me. So now uh, if you want to add a new consultation sheet, you can click on this icon and a new consultation sheet would be added. So suppose my patient have come for follow up, say restless uh, Sleeplessness, better by 30%. Or you can say uh, trembling, better, more energetic, physical generals. So I'm just showing you those features which I generally take in my follow-ups. So it may vary in each one of you. So I've added this. Now if I want to go to prescription again. So go to prescription and write name of the medicine. I'm going to prescription. Suppose this time I just want to give SACLAC to my patient. So I'm adding potency 30. Scale, I am using centesimal sology BD for seven days. So this is the prescription now I have added. So this prescription would be safe to my patient. So this was all about when a patient comes to you for follow-up. If you are creating a new patient, for that you can go to this patient icon and go to this drop-down which is right next to patient icon. If you click on create a new patient, this type of window would open. Human cases by default selected. You can go for veterinary cases as well. Administrative would show you this type of window. You can add all the preliminary data of your patient. First and last name are mandatory fields. If you don't save them, your patient will be saved as uh, date and time. So you can see all the patients are saved as date and time. If you don't save your patient's name, your cases will be saved as uh, saved like this. You can add all these information, any file number, file location, birth details of your patient, contact detail, address, and all these things. You can issue certificates to your patient as well by clicking on this icon. You can write all these content of your certificates. You can create various free fields as well. So uh, suppose I want to write a free field like uh, balance amount. rupees 300 so i'm writing that it would be uh, you know in my mind when patient comes so follow, follow up that patient have to pay me rest 300 rupees after that next is this person information if you click on this icon person information would uh, window would open you can add family history personal history past surgical record previous homeopathic record emergency contact details all these type of things then I showed you pre previously as well, you can add uh, information about private things as well, like drug addiction, sexual harassment, HIV, abortions, and all those things. Then you can add invoices as well. Suppose if you want to give uh, an invo invoice or bill to your patient, you can fill all these preliminary data of your patient. After that, if you click on this icon, an invoice window would open. Under description, you can write complaint of your patient like neurosis in my previous case. You can write how much amount you are going to charge to your patient. If you are giving any discount, if there is some GST you are charging or taxes you are charging and your grand total would appear over here. So my currency is currently Euro. You can go to tool section and change all those things. You need to go to tool section. In tool section, you can create your own letterhead as well. So you can print the receipt of your patient, save the receipt or share the receipt to your patient via email as well. 
after administration comes consultation window if you click on consultation this type of screen would open so you can type your whole case over here fine so i just demonstrated it to you how to type a case you can append a new row or add a row by clicking on this icon you can delete any row if you want to by clicking on this icon if you have multiple rows with you and if you want to add a row in between you can click on this icon then you can mark any symptom important tag patient family history past medical history physiological history you can add various attachments as well suppose i want to add reports of my patient so i'll just go to this attachment icon suppose i my patient's report are in pdf format so i can add click on this and it would uh, give me like what is the location of my uh file so you can add all these different kind of files as well you can allot intensity to your symptoms you can go to uh like uh, this template and choose what is there in family history past medical history and physiological history from this template as well then you can add vaccination records of your patients by clicking on this icon test reports so i'll show you what is the test um uh, data what was the examination which was done what was the result it was good or bad do you want to get it repeated or not or in how much time you want to get it repeated you can add all those information then you can add hospitalization notes as well you can create various free fields as well suppose in free fields you can write anything suppose i have three drugs i have prescribed in my last case i prescribed coffee suppose now phosphorus was coming on top so i'll write differential drugs and i i'll write name of my drug that is phosphorus one more drug i'll add say naxomica you can save these three fields as well so it would be there with you uh, whenever you open your case so it would give you suggestion like these are the medicine that you were previously thinking of you can go uh, for these remedies in second or third prescription if they are complementary or if um, they are followed well by and they have a remedy relationship with previous drug you can prescribe those so for giving prescription go to bottom of your screen and you can pr give prescription to your patient i just showed it to you in the follow up sheet as well how to do that in pathology you can write name of the pathology and dedicated international code of disease will be allocated to your pathology then for adding a new consultation sheet you can click on the icon the icon would show you list of all the consultation of your patient under these headings last is prescription evaluation if you click on the icon list of all the follow ups would appear if you click on evaluate whatever pathology was there on that particular date with details in pathology would appear over here If you're done with the case, you can conclude the case as well. So I hope your doubt have been cleared. How can you compare the medicines? Okay, Doctor Priyatma's question is: After the analysis, how can you compare the uh, remedies? So I'll show you how to do that. So for that, going back to my radar opus, suppose I was looking for two drugs that was phosphorus and um, the other drug was coffee. So for that, I'm going to this drop down which is right next to search, and I'm going to advanced search. You can click on F5 as well. That is a shortcut key. Now I want to compare between two drugs. So in the remedy heading, write name of the both the drugs that you want to compare. So I want to go for Ophia Cruda. Selected from this list, other drug was Phosphorus. right now if you want to compare the whole two drugs you can go to remedies and you can select what kind of differentiation do you want to see if you want to you know compare any particular chapter of that particular of uh, you know you don't want to compare the whole drugs you just want to compare the sleep of both the drugs so under the heading of cases chapter pathology specify the chapter that you want to compare so i'm going for sleep fine i'm clicking on remedies and i'm going for symptom of each remedy individually and if you want to search in all repertories all references all documents it is up to you if you want to see differentiation in materia medica you can go for all references 
So it will give you two different columns, one of sleep of phosphorus, other of sleep of uh, coffea. Fine. You can select the Materia Medica from this list as well. Then there is one more type of comparison that you can do. You can go for symptom which they have in common or exclusive. So this is particularly uh, related to repertory section only. So it would show you rubrics, what are common in both of the drugs and what is exclusive rubrics of uh, coffee and what are the exclusive rubric of phosphorus. So I'm going to search in repertories. You can go for all document as well. It would show you result of repertories only. So it, it have given you three columns now. First column is of all those rubrics which have both the drugs, coffee as well as phosphorus. So first sleep, uh, first rubric is coffee in first grade and phosphorus in second grade. So you can have all those rubrics which are common in both the drugs. Second column is of those rubrics which are exclusive in coffee and not there in phosphorus. Right? So these are the rubrics and third column is of all those rubrics in which phosphorus is the drug and coffee is not there sleep rubrics these are so this is how you can compare between two drugs i hope i'm able to clear your answer uh, clear your query thank you dr Krishna. Uh, Dr. Shweta, if you move, uh, Dr. Shweta, Dr. Prabha, if you have missed the first part of the seminar, webinar, the webinar will be uploaded on YouTube uh, by the end of the day or maximum by tomorrow. We, uh, You can uh, go to Radaropas India or Bijan Rx page and you will get videos, YouTube videos upload that the same YouTube video would be uploaded on our YouTube channel. So you can uh, refer this video again in future. If you have any doubts uh, apart from that, you can write it in the comment box or in future as well while using the software. If you have any doubts or queries, you can get in touch with our team. We'll be happy to, uh, you know, help with all your queries. Thank you, Dr. Shweta, for appreciating my efforts. So uh, if there are no more uh, queries or doubts, so I'll be concluding this session. Thank you all for being such a patient viewers. Uh, thank you and have a great day ahead.